How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another video on the channel. Now, as you can see, today we've got another League SPC because tonight they released another player, and it is, well, what, one of three, uh, one of four now. It's one of four now. I was going to say one of three, yeah. but lads, as you're about to see, it is. Please be four. Yes, it is four. It's not Casemiro. Actually, it's not really that high rated compared to the others, is it? But the card's quality is amazing. It's Gonzalo Guedes, who actually, uh, what, did he have a European card or something like that? Actually did enjoy that card. So uh, we do have Gonzalo Guedes. And uh, today, lads, we're going to review this card. So lads, if you do enjoy it, you know what to do. Bring the hype to the review and smash the hell out that thumbs up button in July. Well, you know it's July. But um, I've got to say, support yesterday for Felipe Anderson was through the roof, so thank you so much for that. And today we kick things off with Gonzalo Guedes. If you can like the video, that would be amazing. Subscribe if you're brand new around here. Click the bell as well. And lads, let's get this guy into a team. Let's get into the review. So there we have it then, lads. Gonzalo Guedes has joined up with the squad and he is in at the left wing spot. Obviously, you can... Um, link him with a lot of different players on this game. I've got like Vieira there, I've got the icons around him, but... You could easily go up, and I hope I've still got him, uh, special from, I've literally just went off that, but it's Arturo Vidal. If you've got Arturo Vidal, who is available again today, lads, you can go for Vidal as well. So Vidal could like link to this card, and he could get a link that way, and maybe Jordi Alba at left back, and by the way, he still looks like a phenomenal card, this Vidal. I really did enjoy using him, and he's a good player in this game, so if you're looking to do that, I think it's 82 rated squads. With uh, one in form, it's actually not too bad. By the way, in the UK today, if I sweat or anything like that, it is bloody boiling. But um, yeah, Gonzalo Guedes, he looks actually quite good. I, I liked him when I previously used him. I, I did state that before because he's got phenomenal stats. Just look at these. I put a marksman on him, by the way, because I've seen his uh, physicality, his jumping and whatnot. And you know the meta on this game, back post headers. Now, he is 5'10", and with, well, effectively 88 jumping, he should win those headers. He's also got good aggression, decent strength, but not the amazing, amazing strength that you see from, uh, like, sort of, like, Gareth Bale and players like that. The, the players that can, like, body players off the ball and stuff. He's got a uh, 74 strength, 79 effectively. Now, 75 hidden accuracy, but the dribbling, the shooting, the pace in general. Look at that 96 sprint speed, 99 acceleration, uh, well, sprints, no, no, no. Got to do the other way around. 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed he should be bloody rapid on this game his shooting stats 92 position and 90 finishing he's got 96, 96 shot power 93 long shots and 85 volleys in terms of passing for the crossing because he's going to be on the left hand side i'm going to play uh well i'll just show you in a second i've got a new formation but i'll show you that in just a second short pass is good curve is good as well and the dribbling section the agility 99 effectively 95 in general uh 85 balance 90 reactions 90 ball control 94 dribbling and 87 composure and lads he's got 99 stamina but as you can see he does have high or low weight rates which um it's not really going to burn the stamina down you know what i'm saying so um you could look at that and say the stamina doesn't really matter honestly with these lights on in this heat it's so bloody hot in here. He's got four-star combo, four-star skills, four-star weak foots. Love to see that on, uh, bloody hell, look at his name. Gonzalo Manuel Ganchino Guedes. I wish he was called Ganchino. What a name that would be. But, um, yeah, four-star combo. Love that about the cards, but I haven't used them yet. And these are going to be my custom tactics and the team for today. So, um, I've got the one that uh, Run the Foot Market did have, but I've altered it slightly to fit uh, this new formation, which is the 451. The 451 is brilliant. Uh, for me on this game so far, so I'm gonna alter it slightly. We're just gonna swap these two around uh, Because Pepe from that side should be a bit better and swap them two around and we should be good to go on the 4-5-1 uh, The instructions are getting behind steer forward aggressive interceptions uh, The cams can just basically do what the hell they want and uh, these wingers are getting the box for the cross uh, Stay back while attacking, stay back while attacking um, Normal interceptions and cover center on Vieira and Lala stay back while attacking too. And uh, the other formation, which is the one I had yesterday. So we'll be switching this every now and then. I'll just uh, put G Gonzalo Guedes in a good position here. I I'd stick him striker, you know. He's got the, the ability to be striker. So they're going to be the two formations. This is like a bloody mini game, honestly. You try and swap players around on this game and this kind of thing. It's a bloody mini game. So, uh, yeah, Gonzalo Guedes looks fantastic on this game. And I want him to be fantastic, man. He's got the stats to be bloody brilliant on this game. Um, it just looks fantastic. He really, really does. Uh, it reminds me kind of of Felipe Anderson yesterday, but Felipe Anderson really did not have the strength. And uh, I've used the Gonzalo Guedes in the past. I think it was a Europa League card, uh, which was an SPC. So I'm actually excited to use this card. And with that being said, lads, let's get in the first game of the day. 
Let's see what he's like. And by the way, I'm only showing the highlights of Guedes. I'm not showing you their goals. I'm not showing uh, all of my goals. It's just genuinely the highlights of Guedes in every single match. So if you do want to watch the gameplay, watch the gameplay. But lads, I'll see you in a sec. Here we go. Game number uno. Ooh, not a bad team. He's got red Pogba. I've not seen Pogba played in uh, D1 for a long time. That foot Mr. Bruyne as well. I haven't seen him in a long time. And I think he's going to play... Unless he goes 4 2 3 1 with De Bruyne at CDM, it's a very attacking midfield. He's got Dani Alves in there, Joe Gomez, who did come out yesterday as well. This should be a fun game. And like I said, I'm excited to see what Guedes can do for me. I really, really am. Unless this guy quits. Guedes. Guedes again. Guedes first. Oh, tertiary. Guedes, Lord Dragon, the Apollo. Oh, ho, ho. One deal, boys. Dude, that. One, two. Four. That triple flick from Guedes. Bloody beautiful, man. Especially the third one. It went straight over that put opposition said. Is he as fast as he stats there? I'd say yes. He, he does seem very fast. He's good on the dribble. And that was my first shot with him. I, I think that's my first shot with him. It was very accurate as well. Low driven near post. 1-0. Vamos. Right, lads. Game number two. I know you're surprised to see me back already. But honestly, that um, my first game for Guedes anyways was largely uneventful. Apart from the goal that he scored. I'm hoping in this match he does a little bit better, but honestly, this looks like a harder team than the first one. Let's see what he can do, boys. The pass as well. Dude, he's just so weak. I don't understand. Felipe Anderson felt like he had more fight in them than Guedes. Didn't have like a similar aggression as well. Still on side, Guedes. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, what? Jeff, what are you doing? That's never a penalty in 52 million years. I flicked it up. That's not... <laughs> Why? I feel bad to score this, but... We're in July, I guess. No way, man. I'll apologize, boys. That's literally never, ever a penalty. Never a penalty. I'm, 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 I'm shocked, boys. I'm absolutely shocked. One, two, three, four. A little five, a little six, a little seven, a little eight. I've just done a one eight. A one eight, boys. And he's finally killed one in from the edge of the area. And CET FIFA, boys. I think he's out here, boys. I think he's out here. That was a good goal. It's, well, it's not a good goal. But um, a good finish. Well, he should be scoring those. Um, yeah, lads. That's, that's another goal for Guedes. He's got a good shot on him. He, he's a good finisher on this game, is Guedes. I just... I was questioning these long shots. Because those first time shots that you've just seen just there on your screen. They weren't going in for me before. In, in the previous match. They, they weren't going in for me. So I was questioning even attempting that. But um, that's a beautiful finish by Guedes. I don't think he is. Oh, he's just on the edge. Here he is now. Must just be like sitting on... Jesus, at least jump, bro. Must be like sitting on the edge for the headers. Ah, the, the bollies. Chance here, though. It is Guedes. Nice little fake shot. Double fake shot. Oh, that's a lovely goal, man. Guedes! Gonzalo Guedes with the finish. And that's if you're worried about game face or anything like that... He's got his game face on this game. It's a face. No, it's not. It's a star heads. They call them star heads. I don't know why. It's a face gen for me. It's a face gen. He's got his real face. And that's a good finish as well. It's not exactly in the corner. But um, you don't care as long as it's in the net. So that was a good game, that one, lads. Guedes actually did shine. Seven shots, three goals. In total, he walks away with the match ball. And on the, in this game, his dribbling was on point. His pace was on point. His movement was on point. Honestly, it was very, very good. And he's shooting, obviously, with a hat-trick. It was on point as well. Even though he missed four shots, they were four difficult shots. So, um, yeah, he walks away with the match ball in this game. Let's get into the next one. Right, technically game number three, but it is game number four, officially, because I've just matched up against the full bronze team, which uh, backed out. It was obviously relegating himself down the divisions, but lads, we come against this one. I was got 100 chemistry. Robins Robertson's clearly off chemistry at left-back, but... Um, it's not a bad looking team, you know. It's not a bad looking team. Good pass. Can you return the favor? He can. Guedes. What can you do from here, bro? Stop the ball. A little bit of this. A little bit of... Oh, got away from him. How did he get away from him that, that much? 
Honestly, yeah, that, that should not get away from him like that. Nice. Good good play this time. It's Mbappe. Where it is? Yes, it counts. Let's go, man. I, so, I just need a confirmation, boys. Jesus Christ, it is so bloody hot, man. It is ridiculous. But Guedes scores in the 69th minute. Never doing that eyebrow thing again, because I can't, I can't do the eyebrow thing very fast. That was a good finish, man. That was a good finish. I think the keeper overcommitted there and just let him with an empty net. But honestly, Guedes should have gotten a hat trick this match. He's missed a lot of good chances. Come on. Let's get this equalizer. Nice. Guedes. Yes! 2-2. Two -two. Guedes. Scores the goal against Dream Chaser Ben. Has he spelled Ben wrong? I don't know. I don't know. But that's a good goal from uh, Guedes. Running around to it. Hit the first time. Left foot. Weak foot as well. I believe so anyway. Let's, let's have a look. I'm sure it's his weak foot, boys. Um, oh, look at the look at the traits he's got as well. Uh, specialities mean nothing on this game, absolutely nothing, but he's got the flare trades. That's it. <laughs> that, that is it. He's only got the flare trades. Yes, it says long shot. They're just CPU ones, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, he is right footed, so that was on a weak foot finish. That's not bad at all, man. These are with his uh, chem style attached. 99 finishing and dribbling and shot power and long shots. I haven't really seen that too often. Uh, 95 bodies as well, Jesus Christ. Should be uh, producing a little bit more in game, but that was a good finish there. Croy putting it across. Beauty! 2-2, two -two. let's go. Who's this? Oh, it's Guedes, on the edge! I, I know it's abusing mechanics, it's not any other, but the flick system's in the game, boys. I can't have that volley. I've just seen I had 96 volleys last summer before. That is exceptional from Guedes. I said it this, well, half, well, after his first goal, he should have had a hat-trick this game. He's got it now. He is a good goal scorer in this game, but he has missed the odd chance. Uh, he is quite inconsistent, I'm not going to lie, but that is... Oh, that's a clutch hat-trick right there. Three goals to Guedes' name, and we've come back from 2-0 down. Was it 2-0 down? And uh, now, we're in a free 2 Watch him score from kickoff. Ah, he's offside. It's a good switch. Lala's. Nice. That should be full-time, boys. It is full-time. And uh, we win that game three goals to two. So we've played three, full games in total. Uh, one was uh, someone relegating his team. So I uh, would say he's played four games, but that's another hat-trick for Guedes. Back-to-back -back hat tricks. And um, that striker spot might just be the spot for him, you know. In a 4 one 2 one 2 the, the tactics I was using yesterday and the tactics I showed you at the start of the stream, the stream, the video. I'm getting too used to streaming, boys. Too used to streaming. If you want to check out my stream? fb.gg forward slash marshall89hd. Link in the description below. Shameless plug right there. But um, Gwyneth, back-to-back hat tricks. Nice, man. Nice. Let's get into summary, boys. So there we have it then, lads. Gonzalo Guedes is a wrap. You can see he's rating... Is it that way? Is it that way? It's one of the ways, lads. It's one of the ways. We've got a value for coins. Uh, we've got an enjoyment rating and all that stuff. So, lads, in terms of the price of this card, you're looking at, like... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm uh, just going to do a quick little have a look. Um, yeah, 429 429 on Xbox. 352 on PlayStation. Nah, nah, even though he's got a good output, that's just, um, it's far too much, boys. Simple as that, it's far too much for this card. It's, it's just simple put. So, the, the value for coins will be, like, a 6.8. It's, it's neither here nor there. It's not a very good rating whatsoever compared to the other ratings I do give for value for coins, or even value for time. So, a, a, a 6 point summer, uh, honestly, 6.8 is... It's worth it, man. It's worth... Well, it's not worth it, the card, but that value is worth it. That's what my opinion is, and um, I'm, I'm leaving it at that. In terms of overall racing, uh, we're going with an 8.8. 8.8 is what we're going with for Gonzalo Guedes. He's not endgame. He's simply not endgame. Yes, he produces the goals and that, but um, I enjoyed Felipe Anderson more. I liked the card more, um, and I just experienced that card a little bit better. So um, I do believe 8.8 .8 is um, worthy of the Guedes rating, but honestly, Felipe Anderson just... I, I know I didn't get the same output from Anderson, but uh, Guedes scoring basically seven goals in three games. And I don't just look at goals. I look at the overall picture of the cards and what he brings to the table. Yes, he's got amazing stats. Yes, he does this, he does that, he does this, he does the other. But um, honestly, 
he's inconsistent. He's inconsistent, and that's what I can kind of draw. In terms of cons, it will be like the inconsistency on what enjoyment rating, by the way. He's getting a nine. He's getting a nine for enjoyment rating. So um, he is enjoyable in this game. You've seen me enjoying the card. I was excited to use the cards. And then I used the cards, and I was still excited to get into the next match, so uh, the enjoyment was there with the card. In terms of pros, you're looking at the pace, he's phenomenally fast in this game, 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, the rest, you're probably looking at the shooting, even though he's slightly inconsistent with his finishing, he can still finish the ball, he's got great finishing, uh, 90 goes to 99, he's got good shot power, exceptional long shots, from time to time, 88 curve as well to bend in those first time shots, even though again, they are inconsistent. In terms of passing, he can cross, he can... Uh, he can pass the ball in the short pass for the one twos and he's got the curve and he's got 92 vision so you've got to remember that as well boys in terms of dribbling 95 agility that's fantastic I think the balance lets him down I'm not gonna lie on the dribble I think the balance lets him down there was one instance where the ball got away from his body from a heel to heel a variant of the heel to heel and um, it shouldn't get that far away from him so I think he lost balance on that so 85 balance isn't quite good enough for the cards but um, again, it's, it's still not a bad start. It really, really isn't. The other pros, the four-star combo, of course. The movement of the card is phenomenal. Uh, the dribbling in general is very good. He's got good ball control. He's got sensational stamina at 99. So there's a lot of pros to be had for the card. A very vast amount of pros to be had. What's not there with the card? Inconsistency. Strength. Honestly, the strength just wasn't there with the card. And I know you're looking or you've looked at the stats and seen 74 strength. Lads, he doesn't play that strength, he really, really doesn't. Head and accuracy would also get, go against the card as well because it's 75. I had a free header in one of the matches and uh, he just didn't get the accuracy on it. So simply as that, um, that, that has to go against the card, man. If he's got free header in the box, he's going to make it count, especially at this stage in the game. In terms of foot champ status, uh, start a substitute or no, he would be a sub again, similar to Felipe Anderson. I'd use this guard as a sub because he's got the pace to make an impact. He's got the finishing to make an impact and he's got the dribbling to make an impact as well. So uh, even the movement and whatnot. So um, yeah, on off the bench, this card is a very good alternative to a lot of different cards in the game. In terms of similar cards, um, I'm not too certain. I'm really not too certain at this stage in time. Honestly, you look at like Felipe Anderson, you look at like an Eden Hazard yet again, he's taller than those. He feels a bit like... Not a Gareth Bale or anything like that. Um, let's have a little think about this one, boys. A little think. Uh, it's a difficult one, boys. He's very unique on this game. Is Gonzalo Guedes. The four-star, four-star. could liken him to a lot of players with four-star, four-star. But um, in terms of the pace, I'm going to have to liken him to Raheem Sterling. I know he's not got the same frame. He's not got the same dribble because Raheem Sterling's got a unique dribble. But uh, in terms of the pace, I would liken him to Raheem Sterling. The pace, the dribbling, and the finishing to some extent as well. In terms of key pro, it will be the speed of the card. He's very, very fast. The key corner will be the inconsistency. He just wasn't consistent enough for me despite his seven goals in three, well, three full games anyways. In terms of best chem style, I've got to go with Marksman again, boys. Marksman boosts a lot of areas that are down with this card, but looking back, I need something to boost that balance, maybe like an engine, but then you wouldn't get the finishing that he offers you. So, um, honestly, I'm not too sure which one to go right there, but uh, Marksman's a really good one for the cards. In terms of best in the league, you've got to look at the other left midfielders from the likes of Vinicius Jr., to all those types of players. I'll leave a list which I think is the best in that league. You'll see that on your screen right now. And in terms of the nation, Cristiano Ronaldo's in that position. He's not going to finish number one. In terms of passing out of 10, he will get an 8 out of 10. In terms of shooting out of 10, he's getting an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to give him an 8 as well. Physicality, a 6. I'll give him a 6 on that one. And dribbling, I'd give probably an 8 as well. So it's very, um, it's very well balanced. It's really well balanced. Um, those ratings as well. And that's going to be it for the review, lads. Hope you have enjoyed today's review. If you have, you know what to do. Bring the hype in July. Uh, it is July. It's Everyone knows it's July. I keep saying it's July. And you keep supporting me in July. So thank you very much for all your support, lads. And I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, once again, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll look to try and reply to as many as possible that leave good questions. If you don't leave a good question, and I'm just going to skip past it, boys. Just going to skip past it. But I hope you have enjoyed today's review. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will catch you all next time.